Hello again. Today is uh, Tuesday, January 23, 2018, 1653 in the afternoon, 58 degrees outside. Dallas. Yahoo. Okay. So this is about this model here. Uh, I want to make note that uh, it does not have the tape counter button. So, okay. So that's what we're going to start with. So I had to look for that myself. It's like, I thought it had one, but didn't. This is the inputs. It's got a microphone, left and right mic, uh, left and right speaker out, standard size headphone jack. Okay. Then, uh, wait, I don't know what this is. This is a JVC uh, RC 565JW. 565. Okay. There it is. That's 16 watts consumption, not output. Uh, the output is less. It's, I don't know, maybe 10 watts a channel. I'm not sure. All right, so here's um, here's the AC input, the DC input, which is 1.6 amps, according to that. It's got a world voltage selector thing. It's set on 120 right now. It's got a fine-tuning knob for fine-tuning of shortwave, okay? And then a regular tuning knob for regular tuning. Here's the top, okay? And this has um, your volume, your balance, your tone, and it's got your uh, mono, stereo, biphonic, wide, and also your beat cut. Line in, radio tape, radio off, your standard buttons for that. And then it's got FM, AM, shortwave, one, two, and three, okay? And then I want you to point, I want to point out that there is a, the stub for the antenna, but there is no antenna. Okay, there's the bottom, woohoo. Here's the back. Now I want to point out that yeah it's got a lot of crystallized stuff from old dead batteries which I have cleaned out but that's where all the screws go in the back I have yet to do that this is how you open it it um, the uh, it rotates out from the bottom meaning that all the anyway it's like that and this is just um, these two one is the microphones the other one is the uh, speakers this is just the other end. Uh, it's the tuner end. And then I had to take these two wires off, so I had to make sure where they went and what their polarity was. I don't know. Okay. That's just a picture of the deck without a flash. That's with more light. And um, anyway, so. And this is just another picture of before I took these off, I took a picture of that. And that, uh, what is that speaker? That speaker is a 3.2 ohms, 7 watt. Okay. Let's see, so I unplug. Okay, so then this one had a little wire. I don't know what that wire goes to or does, but it goes there. And it, I took a picture so I'd know where that went. And again, that's the circuit board with that. There's the speaker. Here, I'll let you see it real close. Okay, there, and then that's the other side, and that's the tape deck. Now, here I want to point out that this right here, this uh, black wheel right there is no good. It's too small. It needs to be replaced. I don't have one. This is the only picture I have of the back side of this radio. This uh, right here is turned, which turns that little black wheel on the other side, okay? Actually, it turns it by way of a gear, but doesn't matter because now here I tried measuring it so it's about 12 uh, it's about 12 millimeters roughly uh, OD outside diameter okay so here I'm just trying to take pictures of it try to get a because that's what it needs because the uh, the little uh, spring doesn't give it enough tension because the tire is too small all right so Here's that little spring, as you can barely see. That spring doesn't give enough tension because the tire's too small. All right. Here's that spring again. Right there. There's that spring. All right. That's the motor. The motor's fine. I might take the motor off of here and put it in something else. That's what it looks like without the tape deck. There, this. That wire comes out through the motherboard plugs into the motherboard and goes somewhere else. That's what it looks like that way. That's it. I'm done. Okay, so now 
Let me show you how this thing sounds. Okay, so. And I'm not playing the tape deck uh, because the tape deck will eat the tape because the spindle takes up. But I will play the radio briefly, so here we go. Um, this and this I did at. Wait, you can't see what I'm doing. set adapter thing in there, you know what that looks like. Um, I'll play the radio, so here's the radio. Wait, radio, it's on radio. Wait. Some volume. These the reason why we on the Russ Martin Show with our homes and our, and our stuff, so we appreciate it. I appreciate you, and uh, this radio really begs for an antenna, so I found a two-section antenna that I put on here to allow it to have a good stereo sound. Thanks, Rodney. Supreme Lending is uh, an equal housing lender, and NLS ID 2139. Oh, stereo mode right there. Fuck. Lindsey Graham. A stereo mode. No, that's by final. And still by phonic. That's stereo mode. Okay. Disney World. And up and, uh, to 60. That's stereo mode. By phonic. Experience. I went to DNM's website and filled out the three p.m. Within three minutes. Uh, uh, by 5 p.m., you schedule a time and place for my agent to deliver my new vehicle. DNM has already won me over. It's easy to see why customers love DNM leasing and their exclusive easy lease. And with multiple locations in the area, there's no reason not to get into a new car by the end of the day. show that this sounds really good in biphonic mode even though the cassette deck doesn't work it will fast forward and rewind but it will not play a cassette because it will eat the tape um let's see here there's having i don't know what i did with that tape i've, I've placed it in some other de oh, i have it in this one maybe let's see yeah it's no it's not there okay well i don't know where it's at uh, here, let me play this. How about just real fast and show you? I'm not going to play it, I'm just going to fast forward and find it. Let's see here, so let's see, I'll give you a little light. You can see that it does do that, so here's what uh, that way, and then this way. So it does that, but it doesn't play because it wants to eat the tape. You see, it just ate the tape, so I'm not going to do with that. All right, so good day, bye bye. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, this is for sale. Uh, okay, thanks. Bye.